If you're looking to upgrade to professional quality video, you can get a mirrorless or DSLR camera and use it as a webcam with Riverside. All the major camera brands from Sony, Canon, Panasonic, Fuji, and others have utilities that let you connect these cameras with just a single USB cable to your computer and you'll get the best quality video possible. So let's walk through the process of downloading the necessary software, connecting your camera to your computer, and selecting it in Riverside for professional video quality. First, you'll need to go to your camera brand's website and download its webcam utility. There'll be links in the description below to all of these pages directly. If you have a Sony camera, this is what the page looks like. It's the Imaging Edge webcam software, and you'll see there's a download both for Windows and Mac. Let's download this utility and get it installed. It's a pretty small utility, shouldn't take long to download, and let's double click to install it. After you install the software, you'll likely have to restart your computer, so let's do that. While the computer restarts, you might need to adjust USB settings on your camera to allow for webcam mode. This will differ depending on your camera model, so again, refer to the links in the description for your specific brand's instructions. On this particular camera, which is the Sony A6400, you actually have to go to the menu that lists smartphone control and turn that off, and then go to the USB mode and make sure it's on the PC remote. Next, let's connect our camera to the computer using a USB cable. That might be a micro USB or USB-C. Now you'll see another allow accessory to connect if you're on a Mac, and we wanna select allow. One last step if you're using a Mac, you might have to go to your system settings, down to privacy and security, and scroll all the way down till you see this message. You'll see Imaging Edge webcam is being blocked right now, and you'll have to click Allow on your Mac in order for it to connect. Authenticate with your Touch ID or password, and now you're ready to go. One accessory you probably wanna get with a mirrorless or DSLR camera is a tripod. It can be a small tripod for your desk or a floor standing tripod, but you definitely don't wanna hold a camera the entire time you're recording. I'll put a link to this tripod in the description below, but it's a nice desktop one and it adjusts the angle easily. Now that we've installed the software and connected our camera, and now let's jump into one of our Riverside Studios to record. I've logged into my account and I'll go to the record button here. Now in this lobby screen, you'll see you can choose multiple camera options and one of the available options should be the Sony Camera Imaging Edge. Select that, and you should see your live camera feed here. You can go on to choose your microphone and speaker output, whether or not you're using headphones, and let's join the studio. Remember, your camera settings and process may be a little different, but we'll put links to the webcam utilities for you to download in the video description below, and also instructions to articles from Nikon, Canon, Sony, and Panasonic on using your camera and what models are supported as a webcam. If you have any questions about this process, leave comments below this video, I answer that personally. And if you wanna learn about some of the best webcam options, including how to use your mobile phone as a camera, which actually looks great, check out this video right up here. Don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that like button before you go. Lots of tutorials on getting the best audio and video quality, which if you're looking to upgrade your microphone, we have a bunch of recommendations on that as well. You can check out my video right here that lists the best USB microphones you can get, and they all work great with Riverside. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.